Hi, I'm Remy and welcome to my documentary about my big sister Lily. Come on in and meet my family. Lily was born full term, which means that she was born um, at or around 40 weeks. Um, but unfortunately Lily and I were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And um, Lily suffered a birth trauma, which was due in part to um, student midwife, um, student junior doctor um, being on a rotation that, that night and um, Lily came out not breathing for herself and um, they didn't get her breathing for 25 minutes. 25 minutes is an awfully long time to not be breathing but one thing that Lily was doing was um, her heart was beating and her heart was really strong. As a result, um, yeah, she suffered absolutely catastrophic brain damage and um, has gone on to develop dystonic spastic quadriplegia and it means that Lily can't, now she's 20, she can't talk, she can't eat, um, she is cognitively um, very learning disabled um, and she has epilepsy, she's gone on to develop um, scoliosis which is a curvature of the spine and she's had all sorts of operations in her life to try and help straighten her legs and her arms. She's also had a hip operation which has gone wrong. She's shown incredible bravery and has gone through more than any person should do really and she's lost such a lot. It's not us that's lost a lot, it's Lily as a little person that's lost a lot but um, we absolutely love her and she's brought so much to the family and given so much um, but it's a different way of life um, that she's introduced to us. But once Lily turned 18 um, she got a lot of help given to her because of her m massive loads of um, health needs and we have been able to employ a team of people to help Lily with her independence so it's not to help me but it's to help Lily become free of me <laughs> and because um, who, who wants to be an 18 year old um, hanging around with a mum all the time and so we have a team of uh, ladies and they're called Team Lily and they are brilliant they come in it's a bit of a strange way of life we basically have an open um, house policy and the girls have um, a shoe box, they come in, they take their um, uh, coats off, put their shoes on, don't knock, they're just part of the family now, they're an extension of our family and come in and get on with looking after Lily. There's something else that has um, benefited Lil which happened just before she was 18. We managed to do some fundraising and we raised money for an eye gaze machine, which is an incredible bit of technology um, that uh, Lily can use on her on her own. So she can actually, for the first time ever, play a game, um, just like we all like playing games, you know, um, to pass the time. Lily can pop bubbles with her eyes. So the machine basically um, picks up her eyeballs and. Um, translates that into what we would do with a mouse and so Lily can um, track things with her eyes and look at things and make bubbles pop or shoot things um, on a screen she can choose music um, from a YouTube channel and um, yeah it's incredible it's um, I wouldn't say it's been life-changing but for us as a family 
it's so nice that Lily is able to do something free of um, any intervention from other people. Another amazing thing that Lily um, has going on in her life is um, her music therapy. From very early on, when Lily was a little baby, it was absolutely obvious that music was really important to her. It was her way of connecting with the world because she's got so many sensory losses. And um, <laughs> um, but Joy is um, Lily's music therapist and she's got the most wonderful relationship with Lily. Lily's little face absolutely lights up when she sees her and um, they have a really, you know, friend relationship which maybe shouldn't be the case with the therapist but um, yeah, Lily absolutely loves um, Joy and um, will get quite emotional when um, she's having her music therapy but um, and can also um, you know really it can release some of Lily's um, emotions so um, with all Lily's disabilities she it also means that she has a lot of um, medication that she needs to help her um, with her epilepsy and her muscle control and um, so in the morning one of the first things we do is get up and pull up her uh, medications she's got way more medications than any person should have really Lily's medication is quite phenomenal when you lie it all out um, in a row and she has to have it every day and it's all in um, it's all required there isn't anything that could, you could just miss because you don't fancy pulling it up. Um, it's all absolutely um, imperative that she has it. She also has a lot of pain relief because of her um, hip operation that went wrong. She's now in a lot of pain because of that and also her scoliosis. So she's on um, quite strong um, medication for her pain. One of the other things that Lily does is she goes to a theatre group, Bamboozle, are absolutely brilliant. They've been a huge part of um, Lily's life, but our family life, because it's been an opportunity for um, Remy and Joe and Lily to do activities together. It's also been an opportunity for Remy and Joe to meet other siblings of children with PMLD, so that they can, you know, get to know other children and they just get on with each other because they all know the weird kind of life that they live, um, which is removed from normal, the normal um, life that everyone else leads. Um, it's much quieter, much slower. They have to um, put themselves second to the needs of their um, siblings with learning disabilities. But Bamboozle kind of takes all of that away and it makes everyone have fun together. And um, Bamboozle will create a um, sensory environment where you feel like you're walking into um, some woods or and you might spend the whole um, session um, feeling like you're um, in a magical mysterious world and they ha um, have built boats that the um, uh, young adults and children can um, travel in and they'll have um, they'll change the light and the scenery and they'll have wind blowing and they'll, it will feel like they're actually on a boat but in a really safe environment um, and it's just, it's just incredible because they, they're able to give our um, children experiences of the world that they wouldn't really be able to have. Another thing that's really important to Lily is her pet cat. Giovanni. He, she got him for her 14th birthday and she loves animals, um, fluffy bunnies, puppies, but yeah Giovanni is um, lovely pet therapy for Lily um, and um, yeah she wouldn't be without him.